I've seen close to 20 different movies in the movie theater this year. The most that I can say is that four of them have really met my expectations or have really been good. You have Spider-Verse, Super Mario Bros., Mission Impossible, as well as Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. A lot of the movies this year have had overblown budgets or have just been overhyped to death. I'm sorry, Transformers this year was not a good movie. But earlier this summer, along comes this little trailer for a movie directed by Gareth Edwards called The Creator. Now, I've actually been a massive fan of Gareth Edwards. I've been following his career for quite a while now, starting with the 2014 Godzilla film. Gareth Edwards also has directed my second favorite Star Wars film, Rogue One. I think that Gareth Edwards has a really good talent for shooting scope in his movies. That's very evident with the 2014 Godzilla film, how all of his shots are from a human perspective. But also you have Rogue One with like the giant X-Wings and Star Destroyers. He just knows how to shoot scope. So to actually see him do an original concept since his first movie is very surprising because he kind of stepped away from directing there for quite a while after Rogue One. And man, did he come out swinging. Go watch this movie. The Creator is my favorite movie of the year. It has topped Mission Impossible, Guardians of the Galaxy, Super Mario Brothers, and Spider-Verse easily as my favorite thing that has been released so far this year. The Creator is a rare sci-fi movie in a long, long time that is not tied to almost anything. The Creator is rare in which a lot of its guns and weapons and cars and different designs doesn't feel like it's trying to pull from a separate franchise. Some of my favorite things about this movie are the designs. From everything, from the guns, the computers, the cars, the ships, everything has its own uniqueness. And it feels like a mix of this 1950s aesthetic mixed in with nowadays technology. And that goes for the CGI. This movie, compared to a lot of different movies this year, was pretty small. $85 million is a lot of money, but compare this to like Indiana Jones or The Flash, which had like a $200 million budget and a $300 million budget, the CGI in this just blew both of those movies out of the water and did it with almost a fraction of their budget. It just goes to show that just because your movie's a big budgeted blockbuster doesn't mean it's gonna be quality. I think that the shots in this movie are some of the most breathtaking shots that I've seen in a movie in quite a while, especially anytime there's this explosion that happens in the movie. Some of the best explosions I've seen in a long time in a movie. It just blew me away, literally. This is the first time in probably close to five years where I did not know where the story was going. In the first 20 minutes, you think you know where the story is going, but then it takes another twist, and then another twist, and then another. And by the end of it, I had no idea where this movie was going. It genuinely was surprising me the entire way through. The score for this movie was absolutely breathtaking. Like, I was wondering, okay, who did the score for this? And then all of a sudden, the name popped up in the credits. Han Zimmer. Oh yeah, he did awesome on this movie. I really love the main story in this movie. That's where this shines the most. You can have amazing CGI, but if your story is not that great, your movie's not gonna be that great. And I don't wanna give away any spoilers for this. Like I said, go watch this yourself. But the storyline, in my opinion, is one of the strongest that has been in science fiction in quite a long time. I feel like science fiction has lost its identity along the years as J.J. Abrams came in with his 2008 Star Trek movie, and then he middled it all with The Force Awakens. Science fiction now just doesn't feel as interesting as it used to be, like for instance with the original Star Trek or Star Trek The Next Generation. With this world, this was the first time where I wanted to see more of it. The world building in this is incredible. Every five seconds you're getting some new bits of information or something cool that they're showing you like that the robots do or that the world offers for you. That's the first time I've wanted to see more of a world in quite a long time. I think that the directing of this movie was flawless. Everything from the acting, the editing, the music was just on point for me. Like I took two friends and my younger brother to this movie and by the end credits, we were just in shock, like, wow, what did we just watch? And then one of my buddies actually leaned over to me and is like, Zeth, that's the best movie of the year. 
I couldn't be in more of agreement. All four of us were in shock. We just loved this movie. Please go see this and support it. There won't be another movie that can top this in my opinion. And I feel this is going to be like a real steel or even a Pacific Rim situation where maybe it doesn't do that great in theaters and then people discover it and they're like, whoa, why didn't I see this in theater? This is going to have that same potential, I feel. As I've stated, I don't think another movie this year will top this for me. Maybe. Maybe.